please remove the lids. Your secret ingredient is beets. Wasn't prepared for beets. The country's top bartenders converged on Las Vegas to battle it out. The game? Create a signature cocktail using a secret ingredient to be presented to our esteemed panel of judges. All before time runs out. Woo! Welcome to America's Bartender. We have three premier bartenders competing for one place in our grand final. Let's meet our bartenders. My name is Annie Williams. The idea of kind of being a mad scientist behind the bar is something that I play with a lot. My name is Philip Kanderish. I combine ingredients close to my home from Iran with different citrus elements to create my vision in a cocktail. I'm Liz Pierce, and for me, this is about glory. I want to bring it home for Chicago. I would love to be able to contribute to my city's wealth of trophies. Welcome, bartenders. Under the lids in front of you, you have a secret ingredient. With that secret ingredient, you're going to have to create an unforgettable cocktail. Our winner today will move through to our grand finals with a chance to be crowned America's bartender. So you guys ready? Yes. Bartenders, it's time to unveil our secret ingredient. The lights are shining on you, you're super hot, and it's very tense. I wish at this moment I had x-ray vision. Please remove the lids. Your secret ingredient is beets. I immediately started thinking fresh juices. I like to make them at home for myself. I have yet to experiment with putting alcohol in there. I don't know why it's taken me this long. Your time starts now. Mixing that with gin is where the real effort's gonna have to come from these guys. So they've got their work cut out for them, literally. Most definitely. I grabbed the entire basket of limes so that nobody else could use them. You know, all spare. I love how Annie's juicing it. I think the perfect combination of Bombay Sapphire and beets, I mean, that's just a perfect harmony if it's balanced correctly. Getting a raw beet versus being able to process a beet, pickle a beet, you have no option, but to use it raw. So is Liz, does she have beer at the end? Is that beer that I see? Yeah, yeah. right? Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I love beer, and so do judges. And the Blood Orange teamed up with the uh, beat as well to accentuate that. Three minutes to go, bartenders. Time is flying. You don't have time to think about what you're really going to do. My goal is to create a cohesive cocktail with great flavors. I wanted to create an impression on the judges that they cannot forget. There's a lot of flavors, a lot of layers. Absolutely. Pretty good. My cocktail tastes good. Now I need to like quick whip something up for garnish. There's a certain nervous energy running around the room now, right? One and a half minutes to go. My knife was kind of dull, and so it wasn't cutting very well. So I just said it. <laughs> Final 30 seconds. Of course, I wish I had an extra minute because I would definitely like to open embellish on the garnish a little more. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Bartender, step away from your stations, please. Yeah. Well, time was out, and all I could think about is that I need a cocktail or a drink. At that point, I just wanted to know if I won or lost. Bartenders, phenomenal job. Liz, please tell the judges a little about the inspiration behind your cocktail. This is the Saturday morning sunrise. I wanted to do a cocktail that evokes that shot in a beer mentality. So what you had there that you drank first was a little tiny gimlet to kind of refresh your palate. I had some pineapple gum syrup in there, a little bit of Doucet cognac, so it should be easily drinkable. You can maybe have a couple of them. I wish there was a little bit more beet flavor going on here. Um, the beer did dominate a little bit too much, but I think it is a very refreshing cocktail without a doubt. Philip, you seem pretty calm all the way through it. Do you want to tell the judges a little bit about your drink? Well, my drink was actually inspired by William of Orange. Under his own reign, uh, the actual government allowed uh, the undistilling of gin, which created the first gin craze. So I incorporated a little bit of blood orange with the beets. I blended it with coriander, because coriander brings a nice citrus element. I rapid infused the dry martini uh, with uh, beets as well, too, just to get more of that beet flavor. So basically, incorporating all these ingredients together uh, gives the look of a revolutionary kind of drink. I thought it was delicious, refreshing. I could see myself in Miami. Uh, drink this and probably call it the Miami Heat, actually. <laughs> Thank you. Annie. Yes. My drink is called Gin Luck. I make drinks the way I like to drink them. I like to taste the spirit. I wanted the gin and the beet and just this sort of natural element to shine through. A little bit of salt. The sweetness comes from both the apple cider and the strawberries, which I think add just a little bit more of a, a round note to it. And then to bring it all back together, plus add a, a pop of color, the Thai basil to kind of heighten some more of those earthy sort of notes. It's almost like you're painting a colorful Picasso painting, but the strawberry and the apple was genius, and the gin's there. I like it. It's a great drink. Bartenders, phenomenal job. The judges have made a decision. 
The winning drink did the best job of highlighting the secret ingredient while combining very well with the base spirit of Bombay Sapphire. The winner, and moving on to the final round, is... Philip. Great job, man. Well done, matey, well done. Congratulations. Philip's William of Orange cocktail won today because of the blood orange flavors that were not only delicious and imaginative, but they allowed the beat to shine through beautifully. Moving on to the final. Great job, buddy. Thank Great you. job. Thank you very much. When they called my name, I felt so humbled and very, very shocked. And it just feels good to get into the top five. Want to try making this winning beat cocktail at home? Give it a taste. For more exciting episodes, subscribe to the GQ channel.